welcome to skillheader.com with a unique and one-of-a-kind video that will give you a complete demonstration of all aspects and possibilities related to using MS Access Online from anywhere. In this detailed video, we are going to explore all the methods and possibilities along with the pros and cons to better understand what is best for you. Let's see how these points will work and what is the role of the local network option. You can visit skillheader.com to get the source code explained in the videos from skillheader.com and read the topics. Please access the playlist related to the MS Access Advanced Topics. Please subscribe to the channel for our motivation, like, comment, and share the video. Before getting started, you should be familiar with the front-end and back-end table integration, especially from SQL Server or MySQL Server. For a better understanding of how to install and configure the SQL Server and SQL Management Studio please click on the i button above or the link in the description. It is not advisable to use the first online solution due to its many restrictions, including allowing only one user access at a time and having a comparatively slow data response. On the other hand, the remote desktop system allows access to the database by only one user at a time. The target machine must be operational 24-7 for this to work. However, you can work on your database from a remote location without accessing the database directly. Let's explore how it works. We are going to explore the example of Google Drive for desktop. You can find the download all the download links in the description. This is our first computer screen where we have downloaded the drive software and now installing it. We have to sign into the drive with the Gmail credentials wherever we want to use the drive. Create a new folder to affiliate with the drive. Here we are using the folder name gshare. As you can see, only this folder will be synced to drive. I have copied the MS Access project file to the drive. Out tables are intact with the database. We will use the access split function to have separate tables file which we will use as a backend. Here tables will automatically link because of the same database. Move on to the second computer screen. I have downloaded and installed the drive to this computer as well and signed in with the same credentials as my Gmail account. Both files are available in the drive. I copied my front-end file to the desktop. Now, I have to link the tables from the backend file. Okay, the tables are linked. Now try to add some data to see if it appears to the first computer.
Now, we are at the first computer screen and as you can see, we have our record which was added from the second computer database. Let's find out how a desktop sharing utility can help you to work with MS Access Database remotely. Chrome Remote Desktop extension has been added to Chrome browser. This computer can be accessed from the remote support section. Now, generate code to use it on other computers connected to the internet. This is our second computer screen where we'll apply the same method to install the Chrome Remote Desktop extension in Chrome Browse. If you don't want to use the browser, there is another method of desktop application. I am going to install the desktop application to access remote desktop. Our desktop should be connected after entering the code. Both methods conclude that a single user can interact simultaneously and the target computer should always be on. If you want to use Access Database online for multiple computers and users, here is a unique method with the combination of using multiple virtual machines on a single computer. Like this, you will able to use a remote desktop on every machine and access it remotely. This structure costs high because of high specs of hardware requirements including CPU, RAM, storage, and internet. Move on to recommended solutions which can give you full access to the database including multiple user interactions. If an organization can manage the Microsoft SharePoint server services, it is the best solution. Secondly, there is a web solution of Access Database through Access Database Cloud Services. You will be able to use the same Access front end and back end you have developed. They use the same method of combination of virtual machines with remotely availability of access database interface through the web interface. It is worth the cost as one of the best solutions to use access online. In the web cloud section, the other two methods are unlike other options because they have their relational database structure and tables will be integrated after exporting data from your access database. Your access front end and back end will no longer work. The highly recommended option to use Access Online is SQL Server hosting by either using SQL Server or MySQL Server. We have searched a lot and found a solution from SmarterASV.net where you can have a 60-day free trial. Almost all versions of SQL Server and MySQL Server databases are available here. We are going to test SQL Server to work as MS Access Database Online. I am signing in with my credentials. Select MS SQL from the Databases drop-down. Add Database. After selecting MS SQL 2014 enter database name and password. MS SQL Server has been created successfully. I am starting SQL Server 2014 from my computer. If you want to learn how to install SQL Server in SQL Server Management Studio, please watch the video given in the description. 
Copy the MSSQL 2014 server link and the login ID into the local server. As you can see, the database has been linked successfully. Now, we will create a table and integrate it with the Access database. Move on to create a new access database. We have to create an ODBC connection to link the SQL Server database with the access. You can simply find ODBC data source in Windows. You can give any suitable name here. The server name and the login ID will be the same from the web. Now, we can select the database from the database list. The test has been completed successfully. From MS Access select new data source from the SQL Server. Select to link the data source. From the machine data source, Select the ODBC connection name that we have established. Now, select the table that we have created from the SQL Server. Fine, now our access database is online. We can create more tables from the SQL Server and use them to create queries, forms, and reports. There is last but not least method of configuring SQL Server port forwarding from your router if your ISP is allowing you to do so. Like this, your computer will be available to the users online. Please use the comment box with your valuable feedback about this video, subscribe to the channel to get updates, and like and share the video. Take care of yourself. See you in the next unique and exciting video.